today we'll be taking a look at the timesheet review and approval process. This process begins after a staffer submits their timesheet where it's then reviewed and approved or rejected, meaning the timesheet would be sent back to the staffer for corrections. The review and approval process is not a requirement, but it can definitely be useful as a safeguard against small errors, such as an employee logging time to the wrong client or project. So the first piece of this process that we'll take a look at is under my company, pending approvals. And I'll just click Add Timesheet Review to your workflow here on the left. And now I'm presented with a few options. Since my site is IQ Premier, I have up to three levels of review and approval hierarchy. If you are a pro customer, you'll only have the one level here. So let's just use this primary approval option. In this dropdown, you have a few options on how to set up your review and approval process. Team lead would be whoever's marked as the lead on a given project. Staff manager is based on departments, how you're grouping your staff and who has management authority over those departments. We'll take a look at both of those options. Along with those two most commonly used settings, you've also got billable and non-billable, which means billable time goes to the project lead, whereas non-billable time would go to the staffer's department manager. And you've also got financial admin, which is a specific user right. In addition to those settings, you can designate a single department, team role, or staffer as being the primary approver for all time. So first, let's just take a look at the team lead option here. So I'll jump ahead to my company client list. And let's use this GM client as an example. Under the team tab, you can see that I'm marked as the lead here, which means I'm in charge of reviewing and approving all time logged to this client. So once time or expenses are submitted, I will get a notification that I have time or expenses to review. Going back to the approval settings here, under staff manager, let's go ahead and change that setting. This setting is dependent on your departments. So I'm just going to click into myself here and click into the user rights tab. Under management authority, this is where you can designate which departments you want the user to have review and approval authority over. So in this example, if I wanted to designate myself as having review and approval authority over this general one department, I'll check that box there. And in this case, whenever anyone in this department submits their time, I will get a notification and I will be responsible for approving that time. Okay, going back to the pending approvals screen, those are the two most common settings. Let's take a look now at how you would actually approve the time. To do that, you can click into the green amount of hours. Here you can see a listing of each staffer each week, and this is based on your submission period that you have selected in your timesheet settings. You can approve or reject a week's worth of time by hitting the approve or reject button. So up here at the top, I'll just reject a week's worth of Sylvia's time, and I can send her a note back as well. So I'll just say test time. Or if you wanted to drill down for more detail, you can click into the blue unapproved amount. Here, you can add or remove columns for additional detail, such as the client, the task, the billable hours, the billable fees, and so on. You can change how the time is being grouped. And you can also use the live filter option if you wanted to show only time for a specific category or for a specific client or date, for example. Then you can approve or reject individual entries from the screen as well. So I'll go ahead and approve this first entry here by checking this box, hitting approve, and confirming. And you can also reject individual entries as well. Then you'd also be able to send back a note. Let's say you didn't have time to reject an entry and wait for your employee to get the entry corrected and resubmitted. 
you could just click into the hours here for a single entry, make the correction yourself. So let's say this entry, instead of being $0, should be 100. And you can include a revision note at the bottom. So you can say changed amount from 0 to 100. And that revision note will be tracked in your site, and you can also report on this field as well. And I'm just going to click back to timesheet approvals up top here and then back to dashboard. As far as expenses, I'll go ahead and click add expense review. Pretty much the same options that you would have at the timesheet level you have for your expenses. I'll just click team lead here as the primary approver. Now I can click into the dollar amount. I can see a list of expense reports by client approve or reject the entire expense report or drill down into the amount for more detail. You have the same options of editing the expense from this screen that you would with your time entries as well. And if there are receipts uploaded to expenses, you can view those from here or add a receipt if your employee forgot to include one.